10 coins are tossed simultaneously. Compute various probabilities. That means the experiment is made up of tossing 10 coins. Now the question is how to solve this problem. First of all, 10 coins. So we can consider them as number of trials. So in this case, number of trials that is n is 10. That means this is finite and fixed. Any number of coins are tossed. Probability of getting head or probability of getting tail remains 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 in each and every coin. That means probability of success and probability of failure remain constant in each and every trial. 1 by 2 and 2. Tossing two or more coins, the coins are always independent of each other. We cannot say that on first coin we have obtained head, so in on second or third or tenth coin we cannot or we can obtain head. Yes, so all the coins are independent, that means all the trials are independent. Now, we can say that the experiment follow or satisfies conditions of binomial distribution. So, we should solve this problem through the probability density function of binomial distribution. And in the first case, we require to calculate probability of exactly 6 heads. That means we are interested in exactly 6 successes out of 10. So, for this case, n is 10, p equals to q equals to half or 0.5. And R is 6, only and only 6, neither more or less than 6 nor less than 6. According to binomial distribution, probability of R successes is NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. So probability of 6 successes will be 10C6 into half or 1 by 2 raised to 6 into 1 by 2 raised to 10 minus 6. That means 10 C6 into 1 by 2 raised to 6 into 1 by 2 raised to 4. Now, first of all, what is 10 C6? This is simple case of combination. 10 C6 NCR, 10 factorial upon 10 minus 6 factorial into 6 factorials. 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial upon 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 6 factorial as it is and cancellation of 6 factorial. Now 4 and 2 can be cancelled with 8. 3 can be cancelled with 9 by 3. So 10 into 3 into 7 the result is 200. 10. That means 210 into now 1 by 2 raised to 6, pure case of binomial. 2 raised to 6 means 64. Into 1 by 2 raised to 4. 1 raised to 4 is 1 and 2 raised to 4 is 16. That means 210 into 1 by 102. The ultimate result is 210 by 1024 or 105 by 200, sorry, 512. Now you can get the decimal values. Let us take second case, probability of at least 8 heads.
first of all let us consider the words at least eight that means eight or more and what do we mean by eight or more eight means exactly eight or more means up to n because r can never exceed n that means we are interested in eight or nine or ten heads so we have to calculate probability of 8 successes, probability of 9 successes and probability of 10 successes separately and then summation of these 3 will be the final answer. Probability of 8, nc8 into half rest to 8 into half rest to 2, 10 minus 8. Now 10c8, it is always equal to 10c2. And we know that what is 10 C2? 10 into 10 minus 1 upon 2. So it comes to 45. And now we know that it is also case of 8 plus 2, half rest to 10. So it is 45 into 1 upon 1024. That means it is 45 by 1024. This is P of 8. Now P of 9, it is 10 C9 into half rest to P means half rest to 9 into half rest to 10 minus 9 means 1. So 10 C9, what is 10 C9? It is 10 always, 10 into half rest to 10, that means 10 into Sorry, 10 by 1024 will be the final answer. Next, we want to calculate is P of 10. E is 10 C 10. See, this is NCR means NCN. Into half rest to 10 into remaining, sorry, half rest to remaining 0. NCN is always 1. Into 1 upon 1024. Into 1. Anything raised to 0 is always 1. So the final answer of P of 10 is 1 by 1024. And therefore, final answer of P of at least 8 heads is 45 by 1024 plus 10 by 1024 plus 1 by 1024. 45 plus 10, 55 plus 1, 56. It is 56 by 1, 0, 2, 4. We can generalize the result or simplify the result. Both can be divided by 8, is it? Yes. 7 by Let us take third case. Probability of no head. That means value of R is 0 in this case. Again P of 0. equals to 10 C0 into half rest to 0 into half rest to 10 because 10 minus 0 is 10. 10 C0 is always 1 so 10 C0 is 1 into anything rest to 0 is always 1 so 1 and 1 upon 1024 that means 1 upon 1024 is the required probability. Just compare this case with the probability of 10. See both are same. These two cases are same. Two extreme cases. Probability of no success and probability of all success. Both are same. Why? P equals to Q equals to half. That means this is the case of symmetric distribution. First and last probability always same. Second and 
the probability before last are always same and so on that is because of rule of combination now let us take third case sorry fourth case not third probability of at least one <coughs> probability of at least one first of all the interpretation of at least one is at least one head i mean probability of at least one means probability of one or more that means one r can be one or more that means up to n that means up to 10 so if this pattern is followed we require to calculate 11 probability rather 10 probabilities probability of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, and then addition but see what is the exact situation r is 1 or 2 or 3 up to n that is 10 we want probability of at least one that means one or more in other words we don't want no success or no head these two are complement events if this is taken as success this is failure and summation of the probability of success and probability of failure or summation of the events complement to each other is always one so if we find probability of no success and if we subtract that from one the result is probability of one or more or at least one so practically it is very easy to find the probability of at least one that is one minus p of none and we have p of none one minus one upon one zero two four so probability of at least one comes to 1,023 upon 1,024. Now, again, a new case. The fifth case we are going to take is probability of at the most three heads. At the most three heads. The first interpretation is probability of not more than three. Again, the interpretation of not more than 3 means 3 or less. 3 or less, not more than 3 means. That means 3 or less, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So, we require to calculate probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3. P of 0 is 1 by 1, 0, 2, 4. We already know. Recently we calculated it. P of 1. That will be actually equivalent to P of 9. 10 C1 into half rest to 1 into half rest to 9. The 10 C1 is 10 into half rest to 10, 1 plus 9, if base is same, in case of multiplication, there is addition of power. So, 10 by 1, 0, 2, 4. P of 2. P of 2 is exactly equivalent to P of 8. First, get the answer and then compare it with P of 8. It is 10 C2 into half rest to 2 into half rest to 8. 10 C2 is... 45 by sorry 45 into half rest to 10 that means 45 by 1024 now compare this result with the probability of 8 that is the same the new result we require to calculate is probability of 3 it is 10 c3 into half rest to 3 into half rest to 7 now what is 10 c3 you can directly cancel 7 factorial and 7 factorial. Then 
10 into 9 into 8 divided by 3 into 2 into 1. Yes, ultimately 10 C3, the simplified version of 10 C3 is 10 into 9 into 8 upon 3 into 2 into 1. You can cancel 2 with 8 by 4 and 3 with 9 by 3. So it comes to 120. Yes, 120 into half raised to 10. So ultimately it is 120 divided by 1024. Now probability of at the most 3 equals to P of 0, 1 upon 1024 plus P of 1 that is 10 upon 1024 plus P of 2, 45 by 1024 plus P of 3, 120 divided by 1024. 1 plus 10, 11, plus 45, 56, plus 120, it is 176. Just simplify this. <coughs> 16 is the common factor actually. So you can write it 11 divided by 64. The last case. Number 6. Probability of at least 4 heads. At least 4. Again, what is the event complement to at least 4? So let us take same pattern. R can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or more but not more than 10 because n is 10. We want at least 4 that means 4 or more. So what is the complement event of 4 or more? It is 3 or less that means this is the event complement to that. So probability of at least 4 is nothing. It is probability of sorry 1 minus probability of 3 or less or 1 minus p of 0 plus p of 1 plus p of 2 plus p of 3 but we have the answer already so 1 minus 11 by 64 so it is 53 by 